So I'm actually doing it. Can't believe I'm finally starting a YouTube channel. Well, while we're here, I'm gonna tell you how I made $1,100 on Poshmark in one month. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm a full-time junior high and high school science teacher, full-time doctoral student, and a part-time reseller on the Poshmark Mercari and eBay. Um, today, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about my reselling journey, how I got started, and how I made um, $1,100 my first month. And that is $1,100 in total sales. Like, that doesn't take into account all of my cost of goods. Um, but a little bit about how I got started. Um, I really just wanted to clean out my closet. I'm going on 28 and I'm just realizing like, you know what, I think I want to age up my wardrobe now. Um, there's nothing wrong with the clothes that I have. They just make me feel like I'm still in college and I just wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, especially because I teach teenagers and way too often I feel like I get mistaken for one. So um, in order to do that, I had to clean out my closet and get rid of a bunch of stuff. And typically what I'll do is just like go to Goodwill and donate a bunch of stuff. But as I was starting to sort, I realized that, wow, this is like a couple hundred, if not thousands of dollars worth of stuff. And it'd be nice if I could get something back for it. Um, and for a while I was a little like torn because I was thinking like, oh, well, it could help people. But like doing a bit more research, I realized that like a lot of the stuff that I donate probably won't go directly to people who need it anyway where I am um and I still decided to donate some things but upon researching I was thinking well people make profit of all this stuff and I would hate to just like throw all that money away so first thought was let's go to Plato's Closet I'd never gone to Plato's Closet before but I knew that they um basically bought people's clothing so Upon looking more though, I realized that they tend to not give you what you feel like you're worth or not even take everything. Um, and for the nearest play of closet to be so far away, I just didn't think it was worth it. So I remember that like there's a couple influencers and YouTubers that like I follow who every once in a while when they clean up their closet, they'll put things up on like Depop or Poshmark and I never really looked into it or bought off of it, but I thought, well, let's see what it's about. Um, so I downloaded Poshmark and I just posted a couple things like 10 things or so and not great um really subpar photos not great lighting one line descriptions like this is a leopard print banana republic top um and you could probably assume that i didn't really sell anything but i am a scientist and i love my research and so i just wanted to figure out well how are these people making money off of this and so more research I did I realized like oh um I probably should be sharing my closet and posting good photos and posting more often and writing descriptions that are like SEO friendly and so that's what I started to do and within like the next couple days of that week I, I started selling like two to three things a day and the fact that the prices were so low because I just wanted it out probably also contributed to that but things started going really fast and it was kind of fun to me the whole research aspect of it and kind of the reward for your research and your effort. It, it was nice, I liked it. And so I thought, well, what if this is something that I invest a little bit more time or money into? And I was talking to my boyfriend about it and he just noticed that every couple of days I was going to the post office and I'm like, yeah, I sold this or I sold that. And um, he was kind of like confused, but at the same, same time kind of intrigued. Um, so I kind of was able to kind of convince him to come on board with me when we started deciding if we were gonna invest more time or money into this. Um, so initially, I did a lot of research about like what kinds of things I wanted to sell and what was going to be the most low risk. So we started doing retail arbitrage in places where we could return things. So we put it up, if it doesn't sell um, or get any attention in a few days, week and a half or so, it's gone. And I think the fact that we were so intentional about what we bought didn't really happen. And we started to do really well. And we started to have a really quick turnover, um, quicker than what I've discovered is average actually. And now it's kind of slowed down and we're kind of getting on the kind of turnover that's more normal and expected. I think we just had some fluke, like really immediate sales there, but I think we've started to get our footing on how the platform works and how to drive traffic and attention and when to buy and when to post and things like that. Um, so yeah, I'm still very new. I'm about a month and a half in, 
really excited for what the future of reselling for me looks like and since I am so new I'm open to all the feedback and tips and tricks that anyone can have that can help me learn and I just wanted to post these videos because these are what helps me so much so if a little bit of my journey could help someone else as they're getting started or as a teacher I even know that sometimes people who are very new to things could teach someone who's very experienced so we're just here to learn together Thank you for welcoming me into your community. If you're interested in following more of my reselling journey or just hearing anything else about me and teaching or my lifestyle or fashion sense or anything, um, you can subscribe. You don't have to though. <laughs> Hopefully we do see each other again. And if you're watching this when I'm posting it on Christmas, Merry Christmas. Bye.